Good morning. I figure I'd do another video. I've been uh, mentioning the faith a lot lately, the Baha'i faith, and I wanted to, another subject came up. You know, I studied the writings, the sacred writings of the Baha'i faith all the time, and I've also studied the sacred writings of a lot of other religions, like the Bible and the Quran I've read, you know, and the Bhagavad Gita. And I've even read the Zoroastrian Zen, the Vesta. And uh, so I've studied these, you know, I read the Bible five times from start to finish and the Quran four times. So I've studied it a lot and it's just part of my worldview, you know, and one of the things I've been talking about is, uh, you know, certain things, you know, about like sexuality and stuff like that and the moral values around that and marriage, the law, the divine law of marriage is one of the most important features of human nature. And, um, you know, one thing Baha'u'llah talks about is he, one of the rules, I guess you could call it, is that, you know, he doesn't want us clamorously proclaiming the faith in the marketplace. So, you know, I, I need to not talk about that too much, but the, in the context of this story about holistic human nature, you know, Leaving the faith out of the story it would be a total distortion of, of the story. So, but I wanted to say one thing a bit about it. It's coming up, you know, it has to do with, you know, human nature. And the human being, a human soul is created at conception. You know, you mix a little yang with a little yin and you got a, a human soul. And, uh, that and within the mother's womb, the, the person, you know, their conscious become they become conscious at some point, probably pretty early, and they can sense what's going on around the mother, you know, not directly. It's just you know, and the the effect, you know, the mother's, the hormones and the DNA, not DNA, well the DNA too, but the neurotransmitters. You know, all that whole recipe within the mother is affecting the baby at all, the whole time, you know, they're in the womb. And then they're eventually, they be, you know, a baby is born from a small dark place into a big bright world, you know. And uh, and then human beings are born prematurely in order, because our brains are so large, you know, in order that we have to be born prematurely, and we are. And so we grow, you know, physically long after we're born, you know, our brains are developing and we're growing. And, and so that family environment that we grow up in is really important because it's still affecting the, the, the very, you know, it's being hardwired into the human consciousness. And so that goes on and then reach about age, you know, it, 15 is kind of the age of where you can start making decisions for yourself and maybe 25 or so is when you're really an adult, you know, a human being and, and people grow for their whole life, really, you know, life, life on earth is a never ending process of self improvement, never stop learning and growing and, and developing yourself and improving yourself. And then, uh, then people get married and, you know, they grow together and they're married forever. Even long, you know, not just life, not during life on earth, but forever, you know, and you're, you live your life and with, in a family and you grow, you grow, you develop your family and you raise your family and you make that into, that's the context, that's the natural order, uh, you know, of human nature. And uh, so we grow together like that, and that's that's human nature, you know. And any other thing, you know, there's going to be variations. There's going to be lots of variations, but the structure of the, you know, a mother and father raising children together is never going to change. The, the divine law of marriage will never change. It's between one man and one woman getting married and staying married and living together forever. 
And then, you know, when we pass on to the next world, it's, it's like we're born from a small dark place into a big bright world, the real world. The whole point of life on earth is not this life on earth is we're just preparing ourselves for the real world, which is what's coming next. Whatever that is, I don't know a lot about it. You know, I'm not, by the way, I'm not a big authority about the Baha'i faith either. This is just my personal perspective of things. But I'm just, you know, just go, uh, you know, life grows. It's kind of like one, one analogy is like a caterpillar, you know, how the, a caterpillar will get into a cocoon and come out a butterfly. You know, metamorphosis in a lot, that's kind of what it is. Another, you know, probably a more accurate one is the way a plant grows, you know, how it, it'll grow up and some branches will branch off and then, a flower will grow or you know and it just kind of grows and it branches off and grows and grows and you know and it unfolds you know and that's kind of the way a human soul is you know as it grows through stages different stages and this life on earth stage is it's important you know it's fun it's interesting you know I mean I love life on earth it's fun it's an adventure, even though I've had some really tragic, you know, just, I don't know if it's tragic, but just, you know, I've had some terrible things in my life. You know, my, my life's been pretty rough. That's one of the reasons why I like making these stories, because I want to help as many people like me, young kids. You know, I wish somebody would have told me the things I'm telling you when I was 20-something. You know, things like start investing buying you know invest your money you know take some of your money and invest it in this stock market or whatever you know own the means of production you know and um just uh get yourself take care of yourself own the means of production raise your family take care of your family you know i just my family was really chaotic and my you know my dad I he left my mom said that she left my dad when I was two years old so you know and then it was just violence chaos you know my step you know my first stepdad then my second stepdad it was just crazy drunken party I grew up in the bar you know drink you know my parents would be drinking and we as kids would be in the back playing pool you know and that's the, and it was violent you know lots of screaming and yelling and getting beat with the belt and, that, and that's not okay don't ever do that to your kids man and uh you know it was fun you know it wasn't all terrible i mean we had a lot of good times we, i grew up on a farm that's one of the reasons i like a holistic perspective of things because Farmers have to do everything. They're, they're mechanics, they're carpenters, they're electricians. You know, we just, we fixed everything. We work good, plus we farm. And we grow food, you know, and we're very productive. You know, farmers are, you know, productive people and that's important. And uh, so, just, uh, that's the way it goes, you know. Keep uh, working on your improving yourself and uh, but uh, the thing is the most important thing is this unfolding yourself really you know your soul your soul is unfolding and growing and developing the whole time you're alive on earth and preparing for whatever the life is after earth after you know and so be aware of that be aware and take care of yourself and improve yourself seek God and uh, seek the truth seek the truth about everything you know whatever it is you're dealing with seek the truth you know when you seek the truth the seeking the truth is a very it's like a compass that helps you guide you through what's whatever's going on in your life you know and you find a good thing you know and you make progress I've, I've made a lot of progress recovery you know I quit using drugs 30 years ago which was a man that you want to talk about painful that was a painful 
experience, but I got clean and, you know, and I've been trying to improve myself ever since, you know. But I wish I would have known about this when I was a young kid, you know, and I could have started doing this when I was, you know, I guess I started, I was 30, I guess, when I started my recovery. And, uh, you know, so that's not too old, but I wish I would have known more about like investing in this stuff, you know, managing my money, my financial intelligence, you know, I didn't have any, you know, work was money, I didn't even really care about money. And I still really, you know, that is very not the most important thing. The only thing is I've been homeless a lot. And so I, I you know, it's like I need money. You know, I don't want to run out of money. I don't want to be homeless ever again, man. That sucks. Home, being homeless really sucks, man. And so I'm always trying to figure out how to make money. And um, trying to, you know, take care of myself and, and pay my bills on time. You know, be dependable. Be, uh, make yourself valuable, you know, make yourself a valuable teammate. Because whatever business you're going to be involved in, there's going to be other people and you want to be a, a valuable teammate. Work hard, work smart, work safely, you know, all the time. And uh, just, uh, you know, to me, I can't, I see people that are trying to not work as hard, you know, they're trying to get out and doing the work and I'm going like, that's kind of a boring, that was worse. I, I rather work hard, you know, because time goes faster, you know, I mean, it's better, you know, in every way it's better. And, uh, you know, uh, keep making the world a better place. Uh, you know, help people, like when you're driving, if you drive, when you're driving, you know, you help other people get where you're going. You know, you don't have to always race to get in front. It's a lot of times it's easier to let somebody else go first, you know, and, uh, and you know, that's, especially if you're driving a big truck, you know, I can't, you know, I see these trucks and buses and things getting all impatient because some car, how would you like to get stuck behind a big truck or a bus, you know, in your car, you know, come on, you know, be reasonable. And think about the other people around you and help other people around you all the time where you know all the people around you always try to be a positive influence try to, try to make life better for everyone around you you know and i mean you don't have to get crazy about it or anything like that i'm just saying life is a lot more fun that way you know when you're trying to compete and be selfish that's not fun at all man and so just uh you know have fun enjoy life and you know make a life on earth an adventure because it is an adventure life on earth is an adventure and it's a fun one i i like it you know even though i don't have everything i want i'm pretty happy with the way things are going right now i feel pretty good about the way things are going all I wish I had more time to work on this website. It's, uh, you know, it's, I gotta get these, you know, I'm making progress. I like these videos. I, I, you know, I wasn't even really thinking about making videos and then I made one and I'm going, hey, I think I like this. You know, this is a good way to teach, you know, read the stories and watch the videos. You read these stories on this website. You read all the stories on this website and watch all the videos. I guarantee you, you will have a very valuable education. You know, I don't spend a lot of time bragging about how smart I am because, you know, I'm kind of a self, you know, I'm a, I call myself a socially retarded genius. I am fairly smart and intelligent. I pass tests. I always end up in the top ranks of tests, but I'm not very socially functional, you know, but I'm getting better and better. And, um, but, uh, you know, just make the world a better place. Be kind, friendly, and polite, and make the world a better place. Thanks, and have a great day.